I'm Sabrina with Canadian HR Reporter for HR This Week, and I'm here with Scott Stratton, author of Unselling, to explain a little bit about what unselling is. So, Scott, tell me a little bit about unselling. Unselling is goes against a lot of the sales thoughts out there where it's always focused on the transaction. Mm -hmm. Unselling is what comes before it and what comes after it. The service, the customer service, the client services, the, the, the results of whatever they do breeds more sales. It actually, it's actually a, the bigger picture. So it's writing an article for something that gets you a, um, a, a lead, which then gets the sale. But then what do you do afterwards as well? And speaking of writing articles, people don't know, the first article I ever wrote for anybody was Canadian HR Reporter 20 oh, wow. years ago. Oh, great. So, and remember? look at me now. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> So, I mean, what are the benefits of thinking about um, unselling and the bigger picture? Well, it's, it, it allows us to not focus on saying the only important thing is the transaction because that only makes salespeople important in a company. We've seen a lot of that. When I used to be in HR, it was the same thing. All the resources, all the uh, trips and incentives, all the bonuses were given out to sales, which makes everybody else in the chain feel like they're not worth anything. If you don't hire well, you don't get the sales. If you don't bring in the right people, marketing doesn't work right. It's everybody that's involved in it. And when we just say, look, sales are our superstars and everybody else is overhead, that's a bad way to run a company. So we think, I think selling involves everybody. If the customer service is great, then they can get a next, the next sale easier. If operations does their job well, then it makes the product or service easier. That's the point, that sales involves everybody, not just the selling department. Right. So um, as a manager or HR professional, I mean, how do you sort of strike that balance? Like, What advice would you offer? Well, that's the point is thinking that respecting HR and the sales process comes from HR first, meaning that they need to be able to take a stand for the value of what the employee brings into the company. That I know of being in marketing and sales, how self-important we get. And that HR has to have a seat at that boardroom table, has to be taken seriously, but we have to be able to, to show metrics, to show numbers that everything matters. We can show the data that says people who are unhappy with customer service 80% of the time don't do a repeat sale in a lot of cases. Like that's the data we want to look at saying we're all on that ship together. We can't sit there and talk about, you know, warm and fuzzy. You know, the classical old school HR thing where we're the, we're, we're the admin side of, uh, of personnel and we're there to process it when you hire and we let you know when you're fired and that's about it. You know, HR is there for the long run when it comes to affecting everybody in an organization versus processing things. Right. So I guess this would have maybe an effect on the overall health of a company, right? I think it's all, the, the, the entire health. I think that the health of a company is based on how the employees feel about the company, which then is reflected also in the sales of the company. That if people are just, it's a revolving door, they're leaving. Like the, the famous thing I talked about today, like the exit interview in HR, which, which is done fabulously all the time, which is when we've left, we're going to talk to you. It's like having a breakup interview with somebody when you're not <laughs> getting together anymore. It doesn't make any sense that we should be taking the pulse of the company on a daily basis. You don't have a formal performance appraisal every day with somebody, but you have to have your ear to the ground. You have to take the pulse of that company all the time and seeing what could we do better. If we're not in a state of continuous improvement, we, we've gotten stale and we stop. Right, yeah. Um, okay, well, I think that covers everything. Awesome. Thanks so much for your time. Need an HR reporter. <laughs> yeah. Love it. <laughs>